I wonder what's taking them so long, all of this waiting. Oh, you're really anxious to be going, aren't you, Todd? When I think of what's happening this very minute, my mother having her very first baby, me. Oh, of course I can't blame you for being excited. All the new experiences a physical body will bring, new friends and... New... Hey, somebody! Girls! What's holding up the show? Oh, you'll probably be extremely good looking, and they'll flock around you by the dozens. Oh, Julie, I can hardly wait. Oh, on the other hand, I'll probably be very plain. It's enough to make you want to cry and sing and shout all at once. Hey, somebody out there! I'm coming! Oh! Hey, what's the matter? All you can think about is getting down to those physical bodies. Huh? Oh, girls! And don't try to hide it, Todd. You can hardly wait. I can? Oh, so you admit it! Well, go on, then. Have your wild fling on Earth. Just as long as you're happy. Julie, how can you say such things after all we've promised? What good are promises in a world where everything will be forgotten? Even if by some miracle we do meet, what chance is there that you could possibly ever recognize me? Hey, hey, how long have we known each other? Forever. And loved each other? Forever. You think that we're just going to forget all of that? Yes. I mean, no! I mean, I don't know what Julie, I mean. I love you. And if I have to search the whole world over, I'll find you. And as for not recognizing each other, why, that's like saying that the sun and the moon and the stars will never recognize their glory, that, that truth and beauty and virtue will never recognize their own. But what that... if I'm ugly? Ugly? I knew it, I knew it! I'm just kidding, Julie. If you're the strangest looking girl on earth, I'd still love you. And one day we'll stand across from each other, just like we are now, and I'll say, don't I recognize you from somewhere? And you'll say, well, you do look familiar. And then I'll say, I've seen that smile somewhere before. I've heard your voice before. It seems we've talked like this before. Sometimes. 
can be certain when But if I knew you then It's strange I can't remember Feelings come so very strong Like we've known each other for so long The circle of our love is more than just a rising sunset The circle of our love, it goes forever The circle of our love begins With now and every promised dream In God's eternal plan it goes forever The circle of our love extends Beyond the reach of time circle of our love is found in every warm and tender dream that lips may breathe or hearts may beat forever. Come along, Brother Richards, you're on final approach. Everything's going okay, isn't it? Well, it's no picnic down there. Just pay attention and you'll do well. Come along now, if you miss this slot, the next one's in Siberia. I will find you, Julie. And I'll be waiting, Todd. I promise. Brother Richards. this minute. Oh, it doesn't take long, Alice, when the time comes. Hey, we're all here at last. Hi. <laughs> but this isn't a goodbye. It's just sort of a see you later. And after all the waiting, and finally, our family is ready to begin. Yeah! Man, what I'd give to see the look on Mom and Dad's face when it happens. Sure feels like a big one, says Mom. <laughs> it's got to be a boy, says Dad. I'd love a little girl, says Mom. ta -da! And then the exciting moment arrives. Orchestra. <laughs> Action! Fellow citizens of the planet... Can't hear Earth. you down there. <laughs> Fellow citizens of the planet Earth, the historic event you've all been waiting for, just arriving in all her birthday glory, the incomparable Pam Flanders! Yeah! <laughs> and now, following close behind that pre-existent marvel, Jimmy. But it can't be, exclaims the doctor. But it is, says Mom. Two of them, says Dad. <sighs> oh, and what better of a way to start a family than with beautiful twins? How about beautiful triplets? How about seven uplets? Seven uplets? Yeah, then we could all go down together. You want to kill Mom off in one shot? You're right. We'll have to do it one at a time. And now... A word from our new arrival. Tell us, Jimmy, before coming to this cold, hard world, what was it you most feared about Earth life? <laughs> well, naturally, I had lots of fears. But the one that really had me scared is that I would have uh, such animal magnetism. Oh, brother. Such charisma that no one would notice my sweet spirit. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> and you, Pam. Well, of course, being a girl, my number one fear is that I would have nothing but a sweet spirit. Oh, Pam, no. no. But with beauty or without, as long as I can dance my way through life, well, that's all that matters. Emily, what's wrong? I thought someone was missing. Hey, now, those aren't tears, are they? What's wrong with her? I think she's just sad, because she's the last one. And she's worried that by the time it's her turn, Mom and Dad might be out of gas. Not want her? You don't really believe that, do you, Emily? Of course, it's easy to understand why she might be worried. 1.7 kids per family, not to mention abortion. Benji, don't ever say that word. It's terrible. If people only knew what they were doing. Our family wouldn't be complete without you, Emily. But lots of people make promises about going to families. And then they break them. Well, not us. And if it'll make you feel any better, I'm going to see to it personally that you're not forgotten. You promise, Jimmy? I promise. You just leave it to your big brother. We love you. We love you, Emily. Love you. And as for the other problems of life, well, isn't that what a family's all about? Yeah. yeah. No matter what happens on Earth, we stick together, right? Right! What'll we do when the going gets tough and the journey is rough? What'll we do? do if I stutter a lot and it's hard to talk? What'll I do? Courage take for goodness sake And when you're out of courage and you're ready to break You've got your father and mother, sister and brother All and together we can work it out All alone we just can't make it By ourselves we fall behind For goodness sake, get the goblins try to get you and you shiver and shake. Just climb under the covers, yell for big brother. Pulling together, we can work it out. All alone, we just can't make it. By ourselves, we fall behind. When we lift and pull together, we can help each other climb. Okay. I've got one for you. What'll you do if there comes a day when I lose my way? What would you do? Well, I would stay by you, Jimmy. Pray for you, Jimmy. If it would help, I'd even die for you, Jimmy. Die for me? Oh, Emily. We've got a father and mother, sister and brother. Going together, we can work it out. Without a doubt, we can work it out. Going together, we can work it out. Well, this is it, jumping off point. And here we are, one step away from a sick world that's crying out for what we can give it. Truth, freedom, salvation. Oh, can you see the headlines now, brother? Two humble missionaries convert thousands. 
Cities translated overnight. Oh, Green, we're destined to be the greatest team of missionaries the world has ever known. Whatever you say, Kessler. Are you with me? Whatever you say, Kessler. We are not the ordinary. Fearlessly extraordinary. Working righteous Harry Carey in our humble way. Slicing wicked men asunder We are something of a wonder In our humble way Humble way now Humble way oh, Humble way Crooked generation We demand your veneration Will you shake your heels at us As we call you to your knees Crooked generation Just Harry Carey in our humble way. Kessler and Harold Green, right? Oh, that's us. Well, you'd better get ready, boys. You're up next. Did you hear that, brother? We're going down at the same time. Oh, just like I've always said, it's who you know up here that counts. Pull some strings and we're born in the last days. Pull some more strings and in 20 years, Zamo, we'll be preaching the gospel together. If you want to be preaching to something besides marsupials in Madagascar, you had better get over there. We are not I did goof up once, sent the wrong babies to the wrong mothers. Luckily, the nurse in the hospital switched them back. <laughs> now, let's see, you are... Jimmy Flinders. Jimmy Flinders and Pam Flinders. Flinders, the twins, yes. Well, brother and sister Flinders, you'd better prepare yourselves. These things come on suddenly, you know. Here we go, kid. I'm gonna miss this beautiful place. I don't think I'd feel so sad. I mean, after all, Earth life is only a few short years. But when you leave home, it's always this way. Especially your first home. With so many memories and friends. And Heavenly Father and Mother. And in a moment, it'll all be gone. Erased and forgotten. Pam, what's wrong? I don't know. Suddenly I'm so afraid. Do you think we'll lose our memory all at once? I don't know. Promise me, Jimmy, no matter what happens, we'll always be close. No matter what. I promise. Hey, now, this is no time for tears. We're on our way. And in a moment, two little strangers will lie in their mother's arms, gazing up into her eyes, wondering and feeling, but not quite. That's it. I've got it. When we're down there together, let's have a secret thing we do. Just an experiment. A what? Let's just have some secret thing we do together that we know we started here. <laughs> That's it. This is perfect. <laughs> Jimmy, you're nuts. No, really. What good is Earth life if all the memories are forgotten? <laughs> Will you do it? Sure. I love you. This is kind of scary. This is kind of scary. What is that sound rising up from the world? The sound of a clock ticking on. With hours and minutes I've yet to meet in a life that soon will be gone. Soon will be gone. Soon will be gone. Oh. What is that sound rising up from the world? 
the swell of the tide at the gate where children set sail without knowing too well that the time is growing late growing late growing late I don't understand. It's a false alarm, Brother Kessler. Here I am, screaming down this incredible tube of light, and then, wham, here I am. It happens all the time. I've waited ten zillion years. When will I ever get another chance? Don't call us. We'll call you. Well. Now, children, I believe it's your turn. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Bye Pam. Bye. Love you. I love you. Oh, Jimmy, Pam, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, you be a brave little girl, you understand? And don't you worry, Emily. Everything's going to work out just fine. Come along, you two. Bye, Emily. And don't forget our deal. heart out while I'm out trying but to... how can I ever go on living without you? Oh, Molly! I love you so much! Oh, Julie, now, now stop it and get up off the floor! Was this the girl I gave my CTR ring to six weeks ago? Is this the girl who swore to unconquerable fortitude and pioneer zeal? Well, why do you think I chose you above all those others? Yes, but two years? 
Whatever hardships I am called to endure, whatever pain I am called to suffer, yet I will be a woman of courage and true strength until that great day when Elder Kessler returns from his mission in glory. And your signature right there at the bottom. Now, let's get down to business. And I saw another angel. Revelations 14, 6, and 7. God created man. Genesis 1 and 26. And there are also celestial bodies. 1 Corinthians 15, 40 through 42. Oh, I'm going to knock them dead. And all I ask for being the world's greatest missionary is to know that my girl will be waiting for me when I return in glory. Now, Julie, look me square in the eyes, raise your hand, and repeat after me. On my word of honor. On my word of honor. I will wait for you. I will... Wally? Oh, Julie, don't, don't give me Wally. A guy has to know these kind of things. Will you wait for me? Will I wait for you? 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 Why, Wally Kessler, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I've given you the best years of my life. I've stood here through it all, through short and fat and tall. Through thick and thin and rain and snow and ice And now you question my integrity Is that any way to treat your future wife? Doesn't morning wait for the sun to rise Like a birthday waits for a big surprise Like a baby waits for All I'm asking is, will you wait for me? This is final boarding call. All passengers, flight 231 for Los Angeles. Oh, this Angeles. is it! Now oh, Wally, I will wait for you. If they should torture me with that and leave me to dry in the sun, I will still be true. Yes. Didn't Alice wait for a wonderland like Captain Hook did for Peter Pan? On his way. Like a faithful girl waits for her missionary. Okay, people, five seconds to air. Stand by. Three, two, one. Cue the announcer. Today, we're pleased to have in our studio this year's Riverdale Family the of the Year. Bring in the key. Bob and Carol Flinders and their Stand seven music. children. And roll music. All my friends told me, take advantage of your face. Other people so endowed have really gone someplace. So I dreamed of Hollywood till it occurred to me. Someone beat me to the punch named Jimmy Durante. A nose is a nose like a rose is a rose, as everybody knows. But may we propose that the rosiest nose is the one that plainly shows. You ain't got a nose unless it touches your toes, and it grows every time that it blows. Wouldn't be so bad if it had stayed with old dad But we've all got daddy's nose Riverdale, as you know, has had a lot of quaking Scientific tests were made to find out why the shaking They finally zeroed in to find the cause of all our woes We only have an earthquake when daddy, daddy blows his nose A nose is a nose like a rose is a rose As everybody knows But may we propose that the rosiest nose it's a rack for your clothes. A plow, but it snows. Or use it for a garden hose. Wouldn't be so. 
said that was a pretty impressive little number on TV last night, Jim. <laughs> little number? Were there 10 or 20 in your family? <laughs> Seven. Can you believe that? 20 siblings? It's just a publicity stunt. We do it with mirrors. You do it with mirrors? <laughs> Wasn't that show sponsored by Planned Parenthood? I'll bet it's just unbridled primal urges. Is it hereditary, Jimmy? Drop dead. Hey, relax, Jim. We're just worried about you. There are some important decisions coming up in your life. So what's it gonna be? A nice set of wheels? Or 47 kids? Yeah, yeah man. Babes, galore. Or diapers, what a bore. A big house on the hill. Or oh, oops, forgot my pill. <laughs> <laughs> They got a point. A couple says, well, just this one can't hurt. But they can't stop at just one. And pretty soon there's a child care crisis. No time, no bucks, no fun. And there's no turning back. Kids, they're a life sentence. So be smart. Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys through? We're through if your parents are. <laughs> hey, what about the country? The world. Yeah, there's only so much to go around. It's true. We, as citizens of planet Earth, have a solemn obligation to preserve our natural resources. Like the ozone. Like portions. <laughs> yeah. By limiting our numbers. Every day the world is getting smaller by far Bursting at the seams, what can we do? Zero population is the answer, my friend Without it, the rest of us are doomed Who can survive? Who can survive? No one Everyone's actually home. I love it. Jim, how you doing? Mama, do you and Daddy love all us kids the same? What, do you, what do you mean, honey? Well, in school, our teacher read us a story about a mommy and a daddy who had to give away one of their kids. And I wondered which one of us you'd pick. 
How about this stuffed monkey? He looks like he's about ready for recycling anyway. <laughs> uh, help! I'm dying! I'm dying! What a terrible <laughs> thing to say! Mama, you wouldn't give monkey face away, would you? I don't know, Shelly. He is getting a bit ragged. No, Mama, he's the best friend I ever had. Well, I know which monkey face I'd pick to give away. Ernie. Are you kidding, Alice? This family would shrivel up and die without my sparkling personality around. Ha! Huh. Besides, you worship the ground I walk on. I saw you hugging and kissing my pillow in the bedroom when Noah's looking. That's a lie! I wouldn't touch anything you breathed on. Stop! Oh, yeah. Stop! Okay? Okay. Thanks. Julie, what's wrong? Nothing. Here we go again. Benji. If she gets a letter from Wally, she blubbers. If she writes a letter to Wally, she blubbers. So, get out your hats and raincoats, folks. We're having rain. Twice a day, for two years. Julie! Oh, Wally, come back. Benji, go apologize to her. What did I do? I made a statement of fact. It was cruel. Go on. Women. Women, women. Ditto. 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 Mama, you didn't answer my question. Which one of us would you pick to give away? I don't think I could give any of you away. But what if you had to and there was no other choice? Well, in that case, I guess we just have to sit down as a family and determine precisely which one we could do without. But which one would that be? You wouldn't pick me, would you, Daddy? Well, it's a tough choice. Any suggestions? Well, I wouldn't want you to pick Julie, Daddy, because she reads me stories at night. And Benji takes me for eyes on his motorbike, so please don't pick him. Not Benji. Psst, psst. Very funny. How about Pam? Pam, oh, Daddy, how could you even think such a thing? Yeah, who would help me with my math? And what about my piano lessons? If you pick Pam, I'm going to. So am I. Pick Pam for what? Come oh, on. Benji, Daddy wants to give Pam away. Hey, I hey. never said I was... If Pam goes, I go. I think you've just been outvoted, dear. I guess Pam's safe. We'll keep Pam. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> hey, how about Jimmy? He's hardly here anyway. Yeah, even when he's here, he's not here. You're the space case, Spock. We love you, Jimmy. We wouldn't give you away. Who cares? The answer's just not having any more. What was that? Nothing. Something bothering you, Jimmy? I'm fine. Are you sure? I said I'm fine. Jimmy. Mom, I have a question. And I need a straight answer. Okay. Those times you talk, saying you feel empty inside, like someone's missing. Yes. Does that mean you're going to have another baby? Well, Thought about it. Oh, well, that's just precisely what this family needs. One more kid, or one less. Dad, don't we have enough kids already? Since when is this your decision? Well, I'm part of the human race, aren't I? It's my world, too. Jimmy! Jimmy, what is your problem? It's not my problem, Dad. It's, it's everyone's problem. What is this, World Consciousness Week? Other people have their priorities. We have ours. I love all my kids. I take care of all my kids. So why more? Are you going to try and replenish the Earth single-handedly? What about Mom? She'll be changing diapers when she's 60. Jimmy, look. This is our family. You can do what you want with your family. And how many more are there to come? Two? Twenty. Jimmy. Sixty. Jimmy. Creep. Don't cry, Mama. You guys, come on. Just normal teenage brain damage, or, or have we done something really wrong? 
When he was just a little boy, things were different then. Eyes of trust, he looked to us to lead the way, always bringing us his fears. We could laugh away his tears. But things were different then. When he was just a little boy. Just a little boy, things were different then. I followed them with childlike faith from day to day. When I came to them with fears, they could wipe away my tears. But things were different then. I was just a little boy. The years that passed like summer dew upon the grass The little boy that held our hand grew up so fast There was a time he loved us the way we love him now But growing up has changed it all somehow Didn't we love him? We raise him well. Didn't we do our best in spite of all the pain? We would do it all again and for the same. Did we fail? What could we do more than we're doing? Didn't we love him? Why can't they love me? Why can't they understand? Why can't they see I'm not a child now, I'm a man? Can't they love me for the person that I am? Love me in spite of me. Why can't they love me? The years have passed like summer dew upon the grass. The little boy that held our hand grew up so fast. There was a time he loved us the way we love him now. But growing up has changed it all somehow. Didn't we love him? He loved me. Didn't we raise him? Why can't well? they understand? Didn't Can they see I'm not a child? Sure, clear night, isn't it, Jimmy? I don't think I've ever seen the Milky Way so bright. And staring up at it, feeling smaller and smaller. Does it ever make you feel that way? Sometimes. If I didn't know I was a child of God, I'd feel very lost in this universe. Jimmy? What? I overheard you talking with Mom and Dad. You don't really believe it, do you? Believe what? That they shouldn't have any more kids. Well, sure, they've got their fair share, don't they? <laughs> Look, kids are going to bed hungry every night. Why don't they spend their time improving their quality of life or something? This family is their life. And when it's over, all you'll have will be your family. Look, I don't believe it. I don't believe a lot of things anymore. Just trying to find yourself, Jimmy. And you will. Look, Pam, what are you going to see? I'm not this great and good person you keep talking about. You heard Dad. I'm a mixed up teenager on some social campaign. You know, Jimmy, you're very dramatic. Have you ever considered being an actor? Right. You certainly got the talent with the right kind of role to play. I know. Perfect. 
a knight in shining armor. Oh, come on. Think of the possibilities. Taking your sword and your shield and riding a white charger as you go out in quest of your own special holy grail. Holy grail. They changed your medication, didn't they, Pam? Of course, it has to be something you're willing to fight for. Something you want more than anything in this whole world. How about freedom? Freedom to explore new things without being put down all the time. Just plain ordinary freedom to pursue my own goals and find out a few things for myself. Oh, Jimmy. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Your quest for freedom has begun. This is ridiculous. Good night. Jimmy. I forgot your sword. You are unreal, Pam. You and your perfect faith. I think you're too good for this rotten world. If my faith were so perfect, I might be moving mountains. I might even be dancing. But as it is, you sit there day after day, never complaining, always cheerful. The only one who ever tries to understand me. I guess that's part of being a twin. Yeah, maybe that extra nine months together had something to do with it, huh? <laughs> oh, I believe we knew each other a long time before that. A long time. Pam, how can you know? How can anybody really know? I, I don't mean just that. I mean anything spiritual. You talk of truth and freedom and, and God. As if it were a part of you or something. Just doesn't work that way for me. How could God let you be trapped like that? Your problem is, you want all the answers at once. It's like watching the stars appear at night. First, one little light shines over there in the western sky. And then another, and then another. Until finally, well, look for yourself. A whole wonderful, endless universe. That began with just one little star. Line upon line, precept on precept. That is how he lives us. That is how he teaches his children. Line upon line, precept on precept, like a summer shower, giving us each hour his wisdom. If we are patient, we shall see how the pieces fit together in harmony we'll know who we are in this big universe and then we'll live with him forever but until it happens line upon line precept on precept like a summer shower giving us each hour his wisdom line upon line upon line isn't it something jimmy millions and billions of stars and trillions more we can't even see a whole universe of opportunity wouldn't it be tragic to just throw it all away? Because we can't see it all right this minute. Line upon line, huh? I think it's just something to think about. If we are patient, we shall see how the pieces fit together in harmony. We'll know who we are in this big universe, and then we'll live. Free.
sat like a summer shower, giving us each hour his wisdom. Line upon line upon line upon line upon line upon line upon line. Why do you guys do that? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like a big hot one tonight, huh? Oh, none of your business. Now, let's see. How many weeks has Wally been gone now? Two big ones. I thought you were in love with Wally. Mwah. For the last time, Peter is just, just a, friend. a friend. My feelings for Wally are eternal. Now, will you boys get out of my bedroom so I can get ready? Yeah, this is for girls only. Then what's Monkey Face doing here? He has more feeling in his little stuffed tail than you do in your whole body. Yeah, so move it. Ernie, I know that you're a little young, but let me give you some advice. Never. Never, never trust a girl. He's just a friend. Ha! 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 Boys are so insensitive, aren't they, Julie? The hand of a lonely person reaches out for understanding, and they expect you to turn him away. Wally would understand, wouldn't he? Well, I did pledge my heart to him, didn't I? But that doesn't mean I have to put myself in cold storage for two years. After all... Friends are like eggs and roses, you know. They come in dozens, too. And when the boy you love is gone, a friend can comfort you. <laughs> He's just a friend like those I count in dozens. A kind, unselfish boy who understands my pain. He's just a friend to fan those bitter winds of sorrow. And after all, a girl can always use a friend. He's a person I can talk to. my senior companion, but he is so lazy. Oh, do you still love me? Dear Wally, I love you so very much and will for eternity. Work harder. Dear Julie, you are my inspiration. Why, last month I averaged 18 hours of proselyting a day, attracted 5,000 homes, held 125 discussions, and put my companion in the hospital. Oh, but still not one baptism. Do you still love me? Dear Wally, what a silly question. Work harder. Dear Julie, my new companion, Elder Green, is terrific. Why, he does everything I tell him without complaining. <laughs> He's also got a good sense of humor. He thinks he remembers me from the pre-existence. Our motto is work, work, work. Do you still love me? Dear John, I mean Wally. Work harder.
days, two months! Maybe it's for the best, Kessler. Oh, no baptisms and now this. Oh, but then what would you know about love or the pain I'm going through? And to think I trusted her! I wasn't meant to be a missionary after all. I mean, haven't we pounded the pavement? Haven't we worked our tails off? Oh, and what do we have to show for it? One reject after another. Oh, and now today, the biggest one of all. Oh, and how can I go on without the girl I in the towel that easy. You're gonna get out there and show that two-timing wench the kind of man she's losing. I am? Yes, you are. And furthermore, we're getting baptisms. Even if it means we have to fast for 40 days. There are people out there, Elder, who are lost and, and fouled up, who need what we can give them. So get up off your duff and let's get going. Well, are you coming, or do I have to drag you out? Oh, do you really think there are people left out there searching, Elder? I mean, right here in this very town? Right here in this very park. Little goldens all around us. And with a little imagination and, and courage, we'll watch this. Gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends. Those are the sweet sounds of that great state, Idaho, from whence I've come to bring you a message of salvation. Hey, Amen, bro. Elder, get down from there. You're making a total fool out of yourself. Nonsense. I'm just beginning. I, I never realized I had so much potential. What on earth are you doing here? Have you ever pondered that question? You've uh, escaped from somewhere, haven't you? See, Elder, it's easy. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you ever wondered where this beautiful child came from? Excuse me. Oh, why have I been such a coward for so long? Look, here comes some more people. Let's give it all we got. Breach the word. Break down any resistance. We'll never forget this moment. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Is one moment too much to ask for the world's greatest message? Message? Have I got a message for you. How about it, big boy? You want to lose 20 pounds overnight? Call 1-800-BLUBBER and mention Rita because I'm on commission. Excuse me, sir. You look like a man who's looking for truth. Uh, no, actually, I'm just looking for my dog. Hey, kid. Are you eight? No, I'm only six. Get out of here. Oh, see what I mean? Everything's working against us. Oh, and how can I go on without Julie? <laughs> For the last time, Kessler, get up on your two feet and act like a man. There are people out there, Elder. We don't know it yet, but they're waiting for us. And we're going to find them, even if it means tearing down every last brick in this city one at a time. So walk tall, brother. We're servants of the Lord. 
Oh, do you really think there are people out there searching Elder? I mean, right here in this very town. I take some paper in my hand And with a pencil draw a man The dream of what I'd really like to be A man with courage in his brow Who's licked his doubts and fears somehow A warrior of great nobility but who am I? Take a look at this kid A cipher on the wall Not even brave at all And where's my dream like his That I would fight for? And where's my cause like his That I would die for? And in his eyes he's not afraid because you see, he's got it made The dream of what I'd really, really like to be A brave and noble, fiery youth Who's not afraid to die for truth Who's tall and straight, best of all, he's free But who am I, just a wandering kid a cipher on the wall, not even brave at all. And where's my dream like his that I would fight for? And where's my cause like his that I would die for? But still the papers in my hand, and every day I sketch that man. Says I should be him. I guess I could at least begin. But chances are I'd probably strike out. And so you see, Alice, until Peter came along, I didn't know the meaning of love. And now he's given me everything I've ever wanted. Waking, sleeping, laughing, weeping. Oh, he is mine, and I am his. <sighs> oh. oh, and I want to be the best wife in the world for him. Gracious yet strong, gentle yet firm, talented and witty, a perfect housekeeper, and a wonderful cook. Passionate. Oh, I sure wish Judy would let me read some of those romantic things she keeps writing in her diary. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sick just thinking about all that mushy stuff. Oh, Peter, my love, who am I to fight destiny? Who am I to fight this strange and wonderful relationship? He's wonderful. She's strange. You're the strange one. And now it's up to me to make myself worthy to you, my prince. As if Julie Luck. would ever write anything so stupid. And now it's up to me to make myself worthy of you, my prince. I take some paper in my hand and with a pen at my command I describe the girl I well with courage in his brow Who's linked his doubts and fears somehow A warrior of great nobility Alice? Yes, Julie? Do you think it's possible to feel homesick even when you're at home? Homesick? Well, I've heard love described in lots of ways, but never like that. Are you all right, Julie? Julie! What's wrong with her? There's only one explanation, Shelley. You mean...
you in my room. Huh? I was just getting my things. I don't believe that for a second. From now on, just keep your nose out of my business, you understand? Oh, you're really something. What every kid wants for a big brother. Well, I didn't ask to be your big brother. So get off my back. You guys stop it. Oh, you think you're so big and important? I am sick of defending you. You're a selfish jerk, just like everybody says. Well, you worry about what everyone else is saying, because I got better things to do. Like taking care of yourself. Benji, leave it alone. You think I'm afraid of you? Someone who doesn't have the guts to do what he knows is right? You little... Stop it! This isn't what a family's for! You just keep your nose out of my business. We should you be understand? helping each other, not tearing each other apart! out of my business. Save your breath, Pam. Doesn't care about you more than cares about anyone in this family. Benji, what a terrible thing to say. What's the difference? Just a matter of time and he'll be gone. How can you let say that? Let him go. We're Jimmy's family. We're all he's got. You just let him go without doing anything? But what can we do, Julie? He won't listen to us. Yeah, and he treats Mom and Dad terrible. But he's our brother. Yes, he's our brother. Or have we forgotten that small detail? I don't know all the answers, but I do know that I love him, and we can't just let him go without doing anything. We can't. Please, you guys. Julie's right. Who else does Jimmy have but us? And if we fail, but we can't. Don't you see? We can't. So what do we do? We just love him, Benji. That's all. We just love him. So what do you think, Jimmy? We're heading out. Are you with us? I don't know. We're gonna have a hell of a time, James. Surprise! 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 Surprise!
Pam's birthday every bit as much as it is mine. Just never mind, Jimmy. It's about time you had your own special one-person surprise birthday party. And please note, with gift wrapping, <laughs> are you surprised, Jimmy? Look, whatever it is you're trying to do, it's not going to work. Jimmy. Davis, let go, fools. Are you so blind you can't see this for what it is? You think this is some kind of show or pretense? These brothers and sisters of yours have been working on this party for three weeks. I don't know how you value that, but I think it's worth five minutes of your time. A little common courtesy. How about it? Shelly, why don't you lead out and give Jimmy your present? Happy birthday, Jimmy. Mom says I'm too old for him anyway. He's the best friend I ever had. I couldn't take this. I... Please, Jimmy. It means a lot to her. Thanks. <laughs> Ernie. I'm wearing your Sunday shoes. You notice that spit shine on them? Well, that's what you're getting. A spit shine a week for a whole year. Oh, gross. Unless, of course, I run out of spit. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Well, I can't take all the credit for my present, because Daddy's paying for it. Congratulations. Breakfast in bed for a whole week, starting tomorrow. She's cooking herself. I hope you don't die. You're the one that's going to die if you don't want to That's enough. Come that's on. enough. As you can see, I'm featuring cuisine from seven different countries, including Texas. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jimmy. Yay! Yay! Benji? Well, this isn't such a great gift, but it's the only thing I could come up with. Don't let him kid you, Jimmy. He's been working on it every night for weeks. Well, anyway, you know the old 59 that's been dead for three months? I fixed the clutch. It runs great. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, all right! <laughs> well, I guess now is the exciting moment we've all been waiting for. Hold on to your hat, Jimmy Flinders. Presenting the world's most exciting fashion creation designed especially for you. And after only one sewing lesson. The Jelly Blender's original! Ta-da! Yay! I love it, I love it, I love it! I decided to make one exactly like it, with a P. Of course, for Peter. <laughs> but you can't guess it's a shirt. I had so much fun doing it, I've decided to make my own wedding dress. <laughs> I think maybe we'd better talk that one over, Julie. Yeah. Well, that brings us to you, Pam, I hope. Royal Highness, Daddy. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> Your Royal Highness. Jimmy, will you please kneel before me? What? Oh, come, come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy, Jimmy kneel before the Queen. Well, uh, will you help me? <laughs> Can I get those back? this, the 25th day of May, I hereby knight thee, Jimmy Flinders, valiant, noble, and courageous warrior of the first rank. Not too hard. Are you kidding? <laughs> you should have known I'd never be satisfied until you were officially knighted. Or have you forgotten your quest? Here's your sword. And now arise, brave warrior. The world is yours. Hail, mighty I am overcome. A cardboard crown, a sword, and a shield. What more could a guy want? Well, surely you don't expect the queen to go to the music hall, escorted by anyone less than a knight in shining armor. Especially to see Camelot. This is unreal. Hey, after all, it's my birthday, too. Sure, why not? Yay! Yay! But not if I have to go out in this. You can change. 
saying. Hey, I don't know about the rest of you, but I hear the call of the wild birthday Ooh, cake. Yeah. Ooh, you, and Daddy, you and Mom haven't given Jimmy your present yet. Remember the surprise? Well, I guess now's as good a time as any to tell Jimmy the good news. Good news? It's going to be the best present of all, Jimmy. Mom and Dad are going to... Mm. Will someone tell me what's going on here? Jimmy, we're going to have a baby. She's pregnant? Yeah, and she's going to have a baby, too. What? Three months along, son. It's due in November. No, it seems like only yesterday they put you and Pam in my arms fresh. You're going to keep it? Jimmy, they kept you. Well, Mom, you're almost 40 years old. There could be something wrong with that baby. There's something wrong with you. Well, maybe next time you'll just drop a whole litter. Jimmy. Jimmy, no. Mom? What, Mom? Mom, are you okay? Hey. Hey. What's wrong? What's Mom. I want to go. Emily, I'm I wanna so sorry. Go. Oh, Emily, you can't. I want to go. Emily, you cannot go, dear. Jimmy? Why didn't you keep your promise? Oh, man. What a party. Who are those women from San Diego? Flinders, you were in rare form last night. Yeah, they're going to be talking about this for weeks. <laughs> oh, no. It really is going to rain. I knew it. We're being punished for our sins. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's head back to Max's place. Yeah, let's get fine. Uh, hey, look, I think I'll stick around here for a while. He's doing penance. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna wash away his sins. Dear Jimmy, words can't express my gratitude for your letter. Mom and Dad were so relieved when I told them that you were okay. This may come as a surprise, but I'm writing to you from the hospital. Just the same old thing. Tests and more tests. But there are things to cheer me up. Like this morning when a strange package arrived from our dear little Ernie. Would you believe three lizards and four grasshoppers? I hear Shelly is taking ballet lessons. And here's a shocker. Benji had his first date. Julie, of course, is driving everyone up the wall with her wedding plans, and Alice is loving every minute of it. Please don't worry about me, Jimmy. Lately, I've felt a closeness to God and a freedom I've never felt before. Remember our discussion on that subject? Your quest for freedom? Well, for what it's worth, I've coined my own definition. Freedom is knowing who you are. Don't you know that the rest can straighten out itself if you really know who you are? Oh, Jimmy, I pray for the day that you will know that you are a child of God with endless potential. Know it so strongly that it burns down in your heart as it does in my heart now. And just remember, if you can't find all the answers today or tomorrow, Try one star at a time. Love, Pam. Please call. Oh, excuse me. Could you hold it there for just a second? I'm almost finished. You're not drawing a picture of me, are you? As a matter of fact, you're almost done. How long is this going to take? I've got a friend waiting. I'm almost finished. You're a long way from home, aren't you? What's it to you? Nothing, just the way you were devouring that letter. What kind of family do you come from? Pick a number between 10 and 20. That good, huh? It's a zoo. Do you miss it? Are you kidding? Leaving that place was the best thing I ever did. 
We were like a number around there. It was like uh, kid processing. You ever seen the movie The Wall? You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. Look how we get on the subject anyway. We were discussing that letter from your folks? It's not from my folks. It's from my twin sister, Pam. The only one even remotely sane. Can I get a little more profile, please? Pam. I always wondered what it'd be like to have a big family. My dad died when I was a kid. Mom always had to work. I used to envy kids with big families, especially big brothers. That's what every guy needs, is a big brother. So, where do you fit in in your family? I don't. Hey, hey, don't you want to see the masterpiece? It's finished. You can keep it if you'd like. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't me. Sorry, it's back to art school for you, pal. That all depends on how you look at it. Well, if that's the case, the way I look at it is, this isn't me. Uh, not yet, maybe. So what's that supposed to mean? Look, I'm not a typical artist. You see, I got this thing. I don't draw people the way they are. I try to draw them the way they could be. Here, let me show you. Take these eyes, for example. Now, that guy knows where he's going, wouldn't you say? And that jaw. Firm, strong, determined. Yeah, you're right. That's not you. Not yet, anyway. But it could be. It's the drugs, isn't it? Here, let me show you another one. Recognize him? Nope. It's me. Fantastic, huh? All of these great, noble warriors. Well, you're a pretty good artist. So, what does it prove? Nothing. That you, me, we're in the same boat. I don't know where I'm going either. Well, what makes you think I don't know where I'm going? Well, do you? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Then why are you hanging around here? To experience the world, to try everything there is, to learn the meaning of freedom? What a waste. I tried all that. Not having your head screwed on straight isn't what I'd call freedom. So, what is freedom to you? You wouldn't understand. Like I said, you don't know where you're going. Freedom is knowing who you are. What was that? Freedom is knowing who you are. And once you know that, the rest will just straighten out for itself. If, uh, if you really know who you are. Freedom is knowing who you are. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Every time I look at this guy, I think it's the real me. The me that's just waiting to be discovered if I can just find him. But man, where do you look? I keep thinking maybe God's the answer, but where do you find God in a place like this? Look, I've got to go. Hey, just a minute. There's something else you know, isn't there? I can tell. Believe me, you're talking to the wrong guy. message for you to call home. Sounded kind of important. Looks like rain.
like a dream, such a fleeting moment. If only people could understand. Why didn't Jimmy keep his promise? I don't know all the reasons, Emily. I know it has something to do with free agency. People just get distracted and they lose their perspective. They forget what's really important. Well, what's important to me is that I go to our family, not somewhere else. Oh, Jimmy, please remember. Please try. Who am I? Where am I going? Here I sit all alone, not knowing why. Brace me up, I'm so discouraged. How I think I'm gonna die. How it hurts. To be a no one How I wish that I was someone Really loved Brace me up I'm such a failure Heaven help me up above Isn't there someone with the hand to spare Who can share with Not put me down, make me feel like I'm as good as another. Doubts and fears keep coming faster. Boy, I'm headed for disaster, that's for sure. Brace me up, I'm going under. Help somebody find a cure Come on, Jim, let's go! Don't forget your promise! Jimmy, please! There's no Flinders, come on, we got to go, Flinders. You'll never find it here, Flinders. Believe me, I'm your friend. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy, don't listen to them. How can they say you're your friend? If they take you away from your family and home, they'll leave you alone in the end. Isn't there someone with a hand to spare who can share with I'm as good as another
Amen. Well, that's the eighth time we've dedicated this city. Boy, I sure hope it takes this time. I'm so weak from fasting, I can hardly move. I mean, you'd think we'd have been translated by now. Well, wouldn't it be great to get one baptism before we split up next week? Oh, gee, Elder, I'm sure gonna miss hey, you. Hey, Elder! Yeah? That guy over there. Well, yeah, what about him? Well, every time we've come to this park, he's been sitting on that bench drawing. Well, yeah, I almost introduced myself once, but then I thought, nah, he's not the type. Well, better late than never, Elder. We did it, Kessler! We did it! Did you see the way his eyes lit up when we told him who he was and where he came from? Steak president material for sure! Yeah. And have you ever felt the spirit so strong? Oh, it's all been worth it all for this moment, this fantastic moment! Hey, Jules, what's the trouble? Mom says you're a little nervous about this wedding. I can't go through with it, Daddy. I can't marry him. But, Julie, the wedding is in three days. Listen, if it's little doubts you're having... It's I not can... just doubts. Oh, please try to understand me. It's so much deeper. Please try to understand. It's your decision, honey. It all fits together now. I lived before I came here. Please, dear father. What are these feelings? I am a son of God. I have a destiny, an eternal purpose. Feelings are forever come so strong. They follow us like jewels that light the path behind. Calendars of time we almost knew that trembled in a lamp much brighter than the sun. I recall the morning Shining like a star on an endless
the sea of sand. And the tender child in your eyes, as the compass goes out, I took your hand. And now we lift the veil and try to understand and reach for what we were before we were. To finally come again back to the start where we. Sea of sand, and the tender child in your eyes. As the compass was out, I took your hand. And now we lift the veil and try to understand and reach for what we were before we were. To finally come again back to the start where we began. That light a path behind. Calendars of time we almost knew that trembled in a lamp much brighter than the sun. And if he shall ask with a sincere heart, having faith in Christ, you may know the truth of all things. He may know the truth. Flight 132 now arriving from Los Angeles at gate 7. Oh, that's him. Oh, I've got to get a hold of myself. Oh, Wally, I botched things up so badly. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, what am I doing? What chance is there that he could possibly care for me now? Oh, why am I even here? Excuse me. Aren't, aren't you Julie Flinders? And your, your Elder Green! I, I recognize, recognize you from your, your picture. picture. Yeah. Harold. 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 Yeah. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I was released last week, but I wouldn't miss this for anything. I mean, Wally said it was going to be spectacular. Some big surprise. I don't understand. Well, I guess we'll find out in a couple of minutes. Boy, I sure see why Wally had such a hard time getting over you. He did? I mean, he likes me? I mean, oh! Attention, please. I'm requested to make this special paid announcement. Just arriving now through gate seven, returning in great humility and glory from a triumphant soul-saving mission, will you please welcome back Elder Wally Kell Kettle. Kessler! I can't believe it! I can. Kessler. I think you missed someone. Oh, Julie! Oh, but I didn't expect. I'm just keeping my promise, Wally. Remember? Oh, Julie. Oh, I can't believe this. It's too good to be true. Oh, I thought that dear John was the end. Oh, and all the heartaches. Remember, Elder? Oh, it's all been worth it. Oh, Julie. Why didn't you write me? I know him from somewhere. Oh, but that's impossible. He's my surprise. 
Todd Richards, meet Julie Flinders, the girl I'm going to marry. Yeah. Julie? Todd Richards, my one and only baptism. Julie? Oh, Julie, no, you, can, you can't do this to me. Well, promise me a fast and pray before you do anything drastic for months. Get it, Kessler. She's history. Come on, it's all part of the plan, remember? The bitter with the sweet. Hey, I know. Hey, we can be roommates at BYU. I've seen that smile somewhere before. I've heard your voice before. It seems we've talked like this before. Sometime, who can be certain when? But if I knew you then, it's strange. I can't remember feelings come so very strong, like we've known each other oh so long. I've seen that smile. Somewhere before I've heard your voice before It seems we talked like this before Sometime Who can be certain when But if I knew you then It's strange I can't remember Feelings come so very strong Like we know In every warm and tender thing In God's eternal plan It goes forever Just a few more seconds, honey. I'm still amazed you kids pulled this off. I just knew Jimmy would keep his promise. Now remember, child, this family that you're going to is one of the very best, but it's still a risky proposition. It's a stormy place down there, and it's a stormy Saturday night. Be courageous and remember who you are. Back attraction. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. I want my friend. Bob! We gotta go to the hospital. What? Right now. What? Go get the car. What? I just had another Jimmy, one. Jimmy, go get the car. Come it's on. okay. It's okay. Well, come on. Let's go. Okay. You'll have it ready. Oh, 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 I don't think I'm going anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Mom's having a baby. I thought my baby's baby at the hospital. What baby? Mom's having her baby. Right now, baby, I'll go get this Baby, baby. I can go boil some water. I can get uh, some Clean towels. Second floor. Let's go. Go! Just call the doctor. Just call the doctor, would you? And take him with you. Okay. Uh, baby. Dad, where are the keys? Are they in your pocket? Get it. You gotta go. Oh. Help. Get his feet, will you? What? Come on. Come on. That's right. Have the pillow, honey. Huh? The pillow. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Okay. All right. 